You are the face of God I hold you in my heart You are a part of me You are the face of God You are the face of God I hold you in my heart you are a part of me You are the face of God You are the face of God Tu es l'image de Dieu I hold you in my heart Tu es l'image de l'amour You are a part of me You are the face of God you are the face of God To say la luce di Dio I hold you in my heart To say il volto dell'amore You are a part of me You are the face of God You are the face you are You are the face of God I hold you in my heart You are a part of me You are the face of God You are the face of God I hold you in my heart you are a part of me You are the face of God 
You are the face of God. Tu es l'image de Dieu. I hold you in my heart. Tu es l'image de l'amour. You are a part of me. You are the face of God. You are the face of God. To say la luce di Dio. I hold you in my heart. Sei il volto dell'amore. You are a part of me. You are the face of God. You are the face you are the face of love. I hold you in my heart. You in my heart. You are my family. You are my family. You are the
Good morning, and welcome to Spiritual Life Center, a church that love is building. God's grace. I can hear the brush of angels' wings. I see glory on each face. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. Let us pray. Dear God, we come together asking you to come alive within each one of us such that we are able to live your principles of truth in our lives and to demonstrate the good that you provide us within our families, our communities, and our nation as a blessing to persons everywhere. We do ask this in the name and through the power and in the nature of the Christ Spirit, that lives within each one of us. And so it is. Thank you, God. Amen. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you, O oh, my soul, rejoice. Take joy, my King, in what you hear. May it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. We love you, Lord, and we lift our voice to worship you. Oh, our souls rejoice. Take joy, my King, in what you hear. May it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. May it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. In these quiet moments, we feel God's presence, as fresh and as new as if we were feeling it for the very first time. We find such joy here, the sweet peace of God that lifts us the life of God that sustains and nourishes us, the light of God that guides and directs us, the love of God, the love of God that provides for us. We are so grateful to you, God, for your renewing presence in our lives. As we acknowledge God's presence, let us let these words be your words. God, you are my creator and sustainer. As I immerse myself in your holy presence, I trust that I will receive your divine guidance in the matters of my heart. And in doing so, I will come to find your perfect peace. God's light is filling me now, surrounding me and I'm being guided and directed. I allow God's beautiful light to show me the way, and I know which choices are best for me. Each time that I look to the light of God for direction, I'm inspired to learn what I need to learn and to take the action I need to take. I trust God's brilliant, steady light in each moment, I am renewed, refreshed, invigorated. 
the life of God blesses me physically and spiritually. And each cell is filled with intelligence and life. Each organ is programmed to function perfectly. I am a wondrous creation of a living, loving God. And I'm sustained by a power that reaches beyond circumstances to touch me at the very soul level, to make me new, whole, and complete. I feel God's life in the tissues of my body, in the very fabric of my soul, and I rest in the silence, in the silence. Thank you, God. Thank you for your blessed peace, your sustaining light, your guiding, inspiring light, your complete love. I'm now ready to go into this day with a renewed spirit. My thoughts are God thoughts, and my every thought is a prayer. I am a blessing, and today I will bless each person I meet with kindness and caring and compassion. I joyfully and gratefully go out to greet my world with love, love in my heart and on my lips. And for the goodness and the graciousness of a God that loves me so totally, I say, thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, amen. And now let us join together as we sing and pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, Sing 
you sing our song. Let the world sing along. Sing of love there could be. Sing for you and for me. Sing, sing a song, make it simple to last your whole life long. Don't worry that it's not good enough for anyone else to hear. Just sing, sing a song, just sing, sing a song. Just sing, sing a song. Thank you, Nancy. I love your singing and I love those songs that you sang today. Well, we all know that it is important, it is essential that we be grateful to God for the blessings that come our way and that we trust God to provide these blessings. But there's an important key first step to that, and that is to be able to recognize those blessings. Late this past year, I was led to list some of the wonderful learnings and experiences and opportunities of 2021. There has been so much focus this past year on all of us, on the difficulties of the pandemic, the, the social isolation that has led to, the political dissension in our country, the climate upheaval that so many areas of our country have experienced as well as the health challenges of many of us. But so many blessings come our way, and I'm talking not just about the everyday blessings of being fed and provided for and blessed in so many wonderful ways with loved ones, but there are these special awarenesses of the new awakenings within us. And so I was led to list some of these. And before long, I had a dozen or more. And now I have more than 20, I, such that I was thinking of labeling this message this morning, how amazing our lives are. And these are not just blessings unique to me at all, but new awarenesses that I have become so grateful for. You know, Jesus spoke to this in Matthew 13. He said, for to those who have, more will be given, and they will have an abundance. But for, from those who have not, even what they have will be taken away. And also in Mark 4.25, it's, he's quoted this way, for to him who has, more will be given, and from him who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Now, some persons have taken this to mean that the rich get richer and the poor get poorer, but that's not what he's talking about at all. Jesus here is talking about consciousness, about awareness, that if you recognize the good that God has brought to you and is bringing to you, it will continue. It will proliferate, and you will have more and more good. Jesus is telling us to live with a spirit of hope, of positive outlook, of seeing the good that is there for us in our lives. He is talking about your attitude toward life itself. You know, there was a young woman who said, I was called pretty today. She said, well, actually, the full statement was, you're pretty annoying, but I only look at the positive aspects of it. <laughs> and speaking of positive, 
all of us have been told over the years to hang out with positive people. Of course, that was before the virus. <laughs> but it is so important to allow ourselves to really focus on that which is life affirming. We received a call recently from a person we love dearly. And this person said, you know, I'm, I'm really feeling down. Everything's falling apart. My world is closing in. I can't figure out what to do. And I said to this person, let's look at it another way. Rather than everything's falling apart, tell yourself everything is coming together. And rather than my world is closing in, how about my world is actually opening up for me? And I can't figure out what to do, but God does. And God will figure out what to do. And all I have to do is follow God, allow God to live through me, and I will be fine. You know, this person's whole demeanor changed when that person took on this way of thinking. Well, there are a number of reasons for us to make a list, to actually be aware of the blessings that are there for us. First, it's a reminder of how in the midst of a challenging time, still there are wonderful things that are present and are happening for us. And it doesn't have to be profound. It doesn't have to be life-changing to be meaningful to us. Lenore and I love to watch CBS Sunday Morning. And in one segment a couple of months ago, there was a reporter who was visiting a local coffee house in New York. And this person noticed that the staff was behind the scenes drinking the coffee from the back. And so he asked, what is that? And the fellow said, well, this is Yemeni coffee. It's made from the beans that are grown in Yemen, where the, the soil has a special richness to it. And he said, may I try some? Of course. And he, he the man said, oh my goodness, this coffee is amazing. Well, that afternoon, I looked up on Google and found that there's a Yemeni coffee house just a mile from us. And I went over there the next day and I checked it out and it is wonderful coffee. And I have been using it ever since. It is wonderful how we are continually blessed with new opportunities in our lives. You know, this week, we celebrate the birthday of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who always emphasized the positive and, and told us to be on the lookout for that which is good. He had a positive attitude toward life, much like Bishop Desmond Tutu, who passed recently. Bishop Tutu emphasized the importance of laughter, of having fun in life, that life is full of surprises and we should not hold back. Can you just hear Bishop Tutu's laughter that would infest a scene that he was part of? Another reason for making a list of the blessings in our lives, it, it was the the remembrance of God is that which is continually bringing more and more good our way. Now, I was led before the Christmas party to call some people of Spiritual Life Center who were part of the past. You know, we invite people to make out a new person card when they arrive and and. I have a stack of these new person's cards. That's how I keep track of the addresses and phone numbers of people. Well, I was led to go through these cards and one by one, look at those people we had not seen for more than a year or two. 
but people where there was a phone number listed on the new person card. I went through and made a stack of all of these. I had thought there might be 30 or 40, but it turned out there were 185 of these cards. And so I started making calls. And over a couple of week period of time, I called all 185. Now, some of them, many of them, the phone didn't answer, or I left a message for them all where there was an answering machine. And I left these messages and many of them, some of them have moved out of state to Maryland and Arizona and Colorado. But there were a number, actually more than 40, who indicated that yes, they would like to have some kind of reconnection with the church. And more than 30 of those persons came to the Christmas party where we wound up having more than 100 persons attending. And it was wonderful. And the greatest blessing of all is knowing that here more than 40 persons because of this have the opportunity to move forward on their spiritual path. Well, when we assume an attitude that is positive, it builds, it multiplies. Lenore suggested several months ago that we begin reading the daily word aloud, which we have started to do. We were each reading it on our own previously, but she reads it aloud every morning. It's a ritual for us, a wonderful ritual. And I can't tell you how this practice has impacted us. We carry that with us through the day. And we also for a long time has, have practiced a prayer before each meal and we feel the energy, the power, and it carries with us as well. It is so important to find those practices, those ways of experiencing spirit at a deeper level that resonate with us. Another reason that it's important to monitor a positive perspective, because I'm sure had I chosen to look for negatives during this past year, I would have found them. My dear sister Doris passed away this past summer. And for a brief moment, I reflected that of our six persons in our family, our parents and four siblings, I am the only one left. But quickly I let that pass and reflected on our sons and our daughter, our grandchildren, our great grandchildren. And that is the positive in our spiritual family. That is the positive that allows us to move forward and to enjoy life and have these blessings continue to build. Life is always bringing us opportunities for new understandings and new experiences. I received a Christmas present that is a, a night clock that has a red light that shines on the ceiling with the time. And so instead of having to reach over in the middle of the night and look for my, my phone to see the time, I just look up on the ceiling and here's this red light and it's wonderful. I go back to sleep and I, I get a little smile on my face as I do every night. And life supports me as it supports each one of us in opening our minds to new possibilities. As we know, Reverend Dr. Martha Creek in recent months has joined Spiritual Life Center as our co-minister. Now the fascinating part for me is that I have never met in person Reverend Martha, and yet I feel like she's a sister to me. She, she is such a delightful soul and she is such a, a spiritual icon. But do you know, she lives outside of Nashville, Tennessee, more than 500 miles away from us. But because of technology, 
we are able to be co-ministers of a church. And it will continue even after we are able to gather in person because she can visit at times and she can, at those times when she's not visiting, record her message, message and we can show it on the screen in front. From a personal perspective, my mind has been open to new possibilities. I've shared before that I am for now seven months eating plant-based. And this came about because our dear friend and chiropractor, Dr. Christoph Dean, we visited back in June when Lenore was going to see him and be treated by him. And when I saw Dr. Dean, I was amazed. He looked so great. We had not seen him in several years. And he looked great. He had an energy. He said he felt great. And he told us about eating plant-based. Now, I've come to know, and I knew previously, that certainly eating plant-based is good for our planet. But I must admit, it was not about helping the planet that made me start eating plant-based. It was about how I might look and how I might feel. Well, there have been, in addition to the benefit of helping the planet by doing this, there has been a weight loss. I've lost more than 30 pounds. And I've joked that I now am weigh less than a tenth of a ton for the first time since high school. But in addition to that, for the last five years, I've been dealing with sleep apnea, was using a CPAP machine, even had surgery to have an Inspire monitor placed within my chest. Do you know after two months of eating plant-based, I no longer need any assistance at night. I now don't put any of that on and I sleep peacefully. In addition, whereas I previously was using a statin, my cholesterol has dropped to the point where I no longer use that medication. On top of that, I really enjoy the food. I never feel deprived in any way, and I love cooking it as well. Remember, when things change inside you, things change around you. You know, the universe has an amazing way of bringing things to your attention. We had a classmate back in ministerial school whose wife was a pure delight. And I, we're friends on Facebook, even though we've had no communication in years. But I checked out on her Facebook page a few days ago, and it had a number of fantastic spiritual statements that just are life enhancing. Let me give you a sample. It's called Enlightenment Symptoms. According to Vedanta, and that is the teaching of Ramakrishna, this Indian mystic, According to Vedanta, there are only two symptoms of enlightenment, just two. Just two indications that a transformation is taking place within you toward a higher consciousness. The first symptom is that you stop worrying. Things don't bother you anymore. You become lighthearted and full of joy. The second symptom is that you encounter more and more meaningful coincidences in your life, more and more synchronicities. We might say more and more blessings that are unexpected. And this accelerates to the point where you actually experience the miraculous. Bishop Tutu said, hope is being able to see that there is light despite 
all the darkness. You can recognize God's light shining upon you and lighting your way every single day, including this day. Let us turn our thoughts today to Martin Luther King And recognize that there are ties between us All men and women living on the earth Ties of hope and love of sister and brotherhood And we are bound together in our desire to see the world become a place in which our children can grow free and strong. We are bound together by the task that stands before us and the road that lies ahead. We are bound, we are bound. There's a feeling like the clenching of a fist There's a hunger in the center of the chest There's a passage through the darkness and the mist And though the body sleeps, the heart will never rest Shed a little light, oh shed a little light We are pleased that each of you could join us this morning for the service, and we invite you now to join in our prayer of sharing. Divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. And we do invite you to support Spiritual Life Center with a donation to this ministry. If you are able, there are three ways that you might do so. The first is through online giving at our secure website, 
www.slctroy.com forward slash give. And the second is to mail a check to Spiritual Life Center 41340 Fox Run Road, number 106, Novi, Michigan, 48377. And the third is to call my cell, 248-925-6214, with credit card information for a one-time charge. Well, we do welcome anyone who is joining us for one of your first times and invite you to join our email list by visiting our website, www.slctroy.com. And in the upper right corner, you'll see something that says join email list. If you will just click that and insert your name and email address, we will be able to send you the weekly Friday emails that tell of the activities, the events of Spiritual Life Center, and also provide you the links both to the Sunday service and to upcoming classes. If you have a prayer request, please send these to ronaldfscott at gmail.com, or you can call it into my cell, 248-925-6214. We will send these on to our powerful prayer team of more than 30 persons who are providing spiritual energy that is changing the lives of huge numbers of persons. We also send these on to Silent Unity, where they are prayed over for 30 days. And if you want to call Silent Unity on your own, you may do so by calling 1-800-NOW-PRAY. Well, we hope you've enjoyed Reverend Martha's new four-week Zoom class on Tuesdays. Uh, learning to see as the mystic sea. And this class continues this coming Tuesday th throughout January. And you can find the link in the SLC weekly Friday emails. But if you've missed a session that started the first Tuesday in January, you can watch it on YouTube under SLC Troy. Next Sunday, Reverend Martha's message is about life requiring each of us to know better and how you can be in alignment with this demand. You should be receiving in the mail within the next 10 days, a letter from the ministers along with a statement of your contributions for 2021 this for tax purposes. You are invited to our virtual coffee gathering immediately following the service where a number of us have the wonderful opportunity to reconnect and to share lively experiences and to support one another. Let us now join together in our peace song and benediction. God bless. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. Let there be peace on earth, the peace that was meant to be. With God as creator, family all are we. Let me walk with my family in perfect harmony.
now as you go forth, know that the light of God surrounds you, the love of God enfolds you. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The power of God protects you. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The presence of God watches over you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and grant thee peace. Wherever you are, God is. Rejoicing, all is truly well.